Hi, I'm Bill Berry, uh, producing director here at the Fifth Avenue Theater and the director of Rent. Uh, I've taken over David Armstrong's Musical Theater Factory blog today, and uh, I'm here with a special guest, Jarrett Hoffer, Hi. who plays Angel in our production of Rent. Hi, and uh, Angel. he's going to tell us all about uh, the process and what he's been up to and what it's been like to play Angel. So, uh, Jarek, so you are Angel. Mm -hmm. Tell us what it was like when you got the phone call being told that you were going to play Angel. It was bewildering. <laughs> I, um, I um, was actually on my way to um, Julia's on Broadway, where I do my drag show every weekend. And I was frantic because I was running late to go get into costume there. And then I answered this phone call from an unknown number and then get told I'm going to be playing Angel. And I remember thinking, like, oh, my God, this is amazing, but I still have to go get into costume. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had this, like... I, I went kind of silent for the rest of the night, and everyone was like, what's on your mind? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I think I just got, like, my biggest acting opportunity in town just now, and I don't know how to process it yet. So I was a little speechless, to say the least. <laughs> so flash forward several months later, mm -hmm. and you started rehearsal. What, during the rehearsal process, was the most sort of surprising thing that happened or the thing that just sort of, like, you were like, oh, I'm actually doing this right now. What, you know, like... What, Tell us about that. I think the most surprising part of the whole process was the first time I started sobbing in the rehearsal room. I, I mean, I've been working for about three years now as an actor in Seattle, and never in my process have I ever broken into tears, A, that hard, or B, like, that often. Right. <laughs> and it was just a daily thing. Like, it was like, go into rehearsal, um, do a little drumming, do a lot of crying, and then go home and eat ice cream. So <laughs> um, that became my daily routine. So. We handed out a lot of Kleenex during <laughs> rehearsal. There was a few scenes that whenever we rehearsed them, you just sort of had to have the Kleenex handy mm -hmm. and be like, okay, everyone, grab your Kleenex, because here we go. Yeah, and I, I got to tell you, like, it was, the, it was the funeral scene, and it wasn't so much about me, the actor, watching, you know, my funeral. It was the things that um, the other characters say about Angel mm -hmm. that really struck me really hard when they describe why Angel was this beautiful person and how she really affected them. And um, it's Mark, Maureen, and Mimi give these little speeches that just were breaking my heart because, you know, at this point in my life, I know plenty of people like Angel and um, drag queens and plenty of like these really amazing and enig enigmatic people. And the thought of losing them is just so, mm -hmm. it's so hard. And even though it's a part of life that you lose even the specialist people in your world, it's still so, it's heartbreaking mm -hmm. and beautifully heartbreaking though. Right, yeah. right. <clears throat> what, what do you think makes, I mean, people are drawn to Angel. Mm -hmm. People have been drawn to Angel since Rent began performances, you know, 16 years ago. What do you think it is? And, and Jarek is an, a, an amazing angel, I want to say that as well. But what is it, do you think, that draws people to this character in such a way? Because she's like the beloved character mm -hmm. from Rent. I think it's that she's this wonderful balance between being, like, sassy and brassy and in your face. But that doesn't stop her from being this, like, maternal, caring, unyielding well of optimism in the show. And she's like... Uh, you pointed out to me early on in the process that like pretty much every conversation she has, she's helping someone and she's giving and she's so selfless. And I think, you know, that combined with the fact that she's like snapping Z's and drumming and she's a dog assassin and she's always <laughs> dressed to the nines. And, and then she's the one character who passes away. It's right. like she's the, the biggest force on stage and then we lose her. Right. And that's, I think, why her death is... Um, such an impact on the rest of the characters. I also think secretly we mm -hmm. all want to be Angel. <laughs> I mean, I think it, whether you're gay, straight, whatever, there's, a, there's, you watch Angel and you're like, I wish I could just say whatever came to my mind <laughs> yeah. and then be so caring and so selfless all at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's such a great mix. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, of course, most of us are human beings. We're flawed and we're not <laughs> nearly as witty and clever. Mm -hmm. And I certainly know we're not all as giving as we probably should be, but Angel is. Angel really is. Mm -hmm. Um, so you start performances. Mm -hmm. What's been surprising about the performances during the run? Is there anything that's happened, you know, that sort of really shocked you or surprised you True. or moved you or 
Um, I mean, I, I moved every night. It's it's a different experience every night. Some nights, some nights, um, I'm laughing at curtain call, and mm -hmm. I'm just like I'm a really giddy, and the whole night just felt so alive. And then some nights I'm moved in the opposite direction, and I'm I'm sobbing, and I'm, you know, just a flood of emotion. But I always feel amazing at the end of the mm -hmm. night, whether I'm crying or laughing. It's always like a full-on emotional experience um but I think I uh, I don't know the thing that I was I was half expecting and half not expecting it was one of those things that it was like I was expecting it but I didn't want to expect uh-huh was when I first come out in my big poinsettia um <laughs> dress my my Christmas tree outfit and every night there's like a mixture of cat calls and claps and uh -huh. like Sometimes we have to pause for a long time before I can even start the song because right. people are just like, look at that giant Christmas tree lady on stage. Right. And so that was very exciting. I didn't want to jinx it, but I knew that that was going to happen. Yeah. You know, it's a combination of so many things, but the day that we decided to throw the handfuls of, of uh, Mylar confetti over her, I thought, well, this is an entrance. This is going to get some yeah. applause. So not going what it keeps happening. Yeah. Uh, we've just killed it right here, right now. Um... So what's next for you? What what do you do after this? Well, I'm taking a little break from doing um, big productions because I kind of did, um, I did Spring Awakening, then I ran off and worked on a top secret project and then did this. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of a break to center myself and then next winter I'll be playing Hedwig in Hedwig and the Angry Inch at awesome. Balligan Theater. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to kind of see what comes up next. Uh, yeah, so, and I'll be, you know, working in drag from now until Hedwig. Um, where, where can we catch your drag show? Um, at Julia's on Broadway, which is on the corner of Broadway and Thomas. And it's every Friday and Saturday night at 10 o'clock. And, um, you know, you can come early and get food and drinks and get a little liquored up because a drag show is always better if yeah, you have absolutely. a buzz. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I host it and I sing live in it. I'm one of Seattle, I'm one of like four Seattle queens that sing live. Awesome. regularly um but what i do because i'm balancing my life as an actor and as a drag queen and both things need a full amount of attention so i take like six months here to work as an actor and then six months to go back to drag and then flip-flop and in rare occasions like in well, like Rent, one, yeah. i get to combine the two and be working on both at the same time so it's really exciting <laughs> jarek is awesome so you should come see the show we run through August 19th, and uh, if you come by, if you stop by the stage door afterwards, you can say hi to all the actors and tell them how awesome they were. They love hearing from you, and uh, hope to see you at the show. Bye.